In July 1987, the U.S. launched Operation Earnest Will. The Navy would guarantee the safe passage of Kuwaiti ships. In total, the United States committed a pretty sizable force, 30 ships, including an aircraft carrier. The U.S. Navy believed their presence would deter attacks. Iran would not risk all-out conflict with the United States. But Iran shifted tactics. They used mines, a weapon that avoided direct confrontation with U.S. forces. A mine is an inexpensive way for a small power to attack a great power at sea. For only a few thousand dollars, a sea mine can take out a ship that cost millions or hundreds of millions of dollars. During the very first convoy, the tanker Bridgeton struck a mine. It did not sink, but was severely damaged. Unofficially, Iran's mine-laying tactics were well known. But the Americans couldn't prove Iran was the culprit and needed a measured response. The Navy brought in more mine-sweeping ships, but also wanted to target the vessels laying them. That meant that in addition to escorting the tankers, the United States had to find and suppress those mine layers who were operating in very tiny craft, almost always at night. That meant not warships, it meant special forces. They needed a boat that could counter these small, fast, heavily armed Iranian attack vessels. One fitted the bill perfectly, the patrol boat Mark III. Six of these Special Forces manned boats were sent to the Gulf. Their secret mission, to interdict Iran's mine-laying efforts. It was known as Operation Prime Chance. The Mark III patrol boats were perfect for this mission. They're armed with a 40-millimeter cannon on the forecastle and a 20-millimeter cannon aft. Two M60 machine guns, two 50 caliber machine guns, and two Mark 19 grenades. As a result, you had a small, fast patrol boat, but that was very heavily armed. The Mark III's operated in coordination with Little Bird helicopters. On the night of September 21st, 1987, they discovered the Iranian ship, Ashur, dropping mines. The Little Birds quickly disabled it. The Mark III's then swooped in to gather intelligence, including the serial numbers of the mines. This provided proof that the Iranians were conducting a mine laying campaign. They could no longer deny that they were taking action against the United States Navy 